Good morning, Coach Slack here once again, continuing our readings on the Synaxarian, the lives of the saints of our Orthodox Church. On this day, the 29th day of September, we commemorate our Holy Father, Kyriakus the Anchorite. Saint Kyriakus was born at Corinth in 448, during the reign of the Emperor Theodosius II. He was the son of a priest of the Church of Corinth called John, and of Abdoxia, his devout wife. When he was 18, he was ordained reader by Peter, the bishop of the city, who was his father's uncle. With an ardent longing for God in his heart, he left Corinth without the knowledge of his family and headed for Jerusalem. When he arrived in the holy city and heard tell of the ascetical feats of St. Ephthemius, he asked to become one of his disciples. St. Ephthemius clothed him in the holy angelic habit but was unwilling for him to stay in his lavra, <clears throat> lest his youth become a stumbling block to others. And he sent him to St. Herasimus, who dwelt near the Jordan. There he did well in his obedience as cook, and he made such progress in the holy ascetic virtues and in prayer that St. Herasimus allowed him to spend the time from the end of Theophany to Palm Sunday in the desert of Ruba with him each year. They were in the desert when the departure to heaven of the soul of St. Ephthemius was revealed to Herasimus, and he and Kyriakus set out to bury his body. St. Herasimus himself fell asleep in the peace of the Lord when Kyriakus, who was then 27, had been with him for nine years. They were now prepared to accept him in the lavra of St. Ephthemius, and Kyriakus dwelt there in solitude for a time, although he favored its becoming a synobium. He did not stay long, for love had grown cold among the monks, who were involved in continual disputes with the monastery of St. Theoctistus, situated just below them. Fleeing scandal and trouble, Kyriakus took up his abode in the lavra of St. Hariton at Sukha. He stayed there for many years, serving the community in various obediences. When he was forty, he was an ordained priest and a po appointed sacristan. Throughout these years, he never once gave way to anger, nor ate before sunset. At the age of 70, he went away with one disciple into the wilderness of Natufa, where he endured torments of all kinds for the love of Christ, and lived on nothing but wild onions that miraculously lost their bitterness at his prayer. Monks and the faithful from all parts sought him out in his retreat, some to be freed from evil spirits, others to hear a word of salvation. And so, notwithstanding his ninety years, Kyriakus had to leave for a more remote desert called Susakim, where he lived alone with a tame lion that watched over his little garden. A deadly epidemic that ravaged the region at the time brought the fathers of the lavra of St. Hariton to St. Kyriakus begging him to come back to them so as to protect them by his prayers. During his second stay at Sukha, he fought with the sharp sword of the word of his spiritual knowledge against the originist Herse that had led many Palestinian monks astray. When he was 99 years old and weary of the troubles that human society brought upon him, he went back to the desert of Susakim, where he lived for eight years more in extreme assises among the angels and saints. He fell asleep in peace, full of grace and godliness at 107 years of age. There's also a uh, contemporary wall painting icon from Simonos Petra Monastery of Matathos. Through the prayers of thy saints, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Amen.